Hi, my name is Dr. Dan Sullivan, and in this video, I want to talk about four ways that you can improve your body's ability to burn fat and improve your metabolic flexibility. So first, let's talk a little bit about what metabolic flexibility is and why that's important for burning fat. So essentially what metabolic flexibility means is the ability to burn either sugar or carbohydrates or to burn fats as fuel. So it's important to have metabolic flexibility in order to lose our body fat because if we're not able to efficiently burn fats as fuel, we're gonna have a difficult time tapping into our own fat storage and burning that fat. So let's dive in and talk about those four steps. So number one is to reduce your consumption of simple carbohydrates and vegetable oils. Simple carbohydrates increase the hormone called insulin, which is released in the body to basically counteract the effects of that glucose in our bloodstream to suck that up into the cells. But when insulin is around, lipolysis or the breakdown of fat goes down. So when we have sugar in our system, our ability to burn fat goes down dramatically. When we consume too many vegetable oils, those oils are difficult to burn and they're more difficult to produce energy with. So the body, when it burns vegetable oils as fuel, produces less ATP energy from that. So in essence, when we're consuming too many vegetable oils, our own body fat actually becomes made up of more of those types of fats, those polyunsaturated fats. And so when we're trying to tap into our own fat to lose fat, our body has a more difficult time to burn that. So if we try things like intermittent fasting or prolonged fasting, we're forcing the body to tap into its own fats as a fuel source you're going to most likely have symptoms of hypoglycemia, lightheadedness, like shakiness or fatigue, things like that because of those, the composition of those fats makes it more difficult to produce energy from that. Number two is practicing intermittent fasting or prolonging the time between meals. So as long as you're not consuming those vegetable oils or large quantities of those vegetable oils, you're going to more easily be able to be metabolically flexible. So in the absence of food, your body will switch from burning carbohydrates or sugars as fuel, and it will tap into your own fat storage. So if you're not consuming those vegetable oils, you're consuming clean, healthy fats, your body is going to be able to more effectively burn your own fat as fuel. So ideally when you're going for four, five, six plus hours without a meal, your body shouldn't be feeling the fatigue, the lightheadedness, shakiness, etc. That's how you know that you're tapping into your own fat storage and your body is burning those fuels efficiently. Number three is to eat plenty of healthy fiber, to eat healthy protein and healthy fats. And these are going to be calories that will replace the calories that you've lost from limiting the simple sugars and simple carbohydrates. All three of those things, the healthy fibers, the healthy proteins, and the healthy fats will help to stabilize blood sugar and it will also help you to transition into being more metabolically flexible and it will give your body the more of an ability to burn fat as fuel. So number four is to reduce stress. So excess stress releases cortisol, which we all know is not good for the body. So this makes it a lot more difficult to burn fat as fuel, and it will also lead to higher fluctuations in blood sugar, which we don't want. So we wanna avoid stress, we wanna practice things like meditation, like mindfulness, like yoga or stretching, things like that, deep diaphragmatic breathing, and these things can all help to reduce the amount of stress in your life. If you're currently not very metabolically flexible, if you're consuming too many vegetable oils, if you're consuming too many simple sugars or carbohydrates, the process of becoming metabolically flexible does take some time. So I've seen it take anywhere from a couple weeks up to a month or even a little bit longer for the body to really fully become more metabolically flexible. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this.